And I've asked 92 people that this year, and only 5 out of 92 people who said they were Christians could communicate that gospel with me. Like you want to talk to somebody. I need to talk to somebody right now. <laughs> All right. So are you born again? I am born again. All right. So what does that mean to be born again? The pack. I was with the Methodist <laughs> Church. The pack doesn't save Methodist you. The Methodist Church, church doesn't save you now. The Baptist Church doesn't save me. I mean, no what church, church can saves save me? you. No, it's no, acceptance church, no of church can save you. Myself. That's all it is. It's in my mind. So accepting yourself is what yeah. saves? No. Accepting Jesus. Okay, except with Jesus. myself and my life is what's okay. So now, now, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? So you you've got to because there are many views of Jesus out there. There the, there's a Mormon Jesus, there's a Jehovah's Witness Jesus, and there's your Jesus. But does your Jesus line up with the Bible? Well, praise God. Well, share the gospel with me in thirty seconds. In thirty seconds? Yes. Um. So. Like 5,000 years ago, I think, uh, like okay. Genesis in the book from like Genesis all the way up to like Malachi uh -huh. is written. That's kind of the Jewish Bible. And then this guy Jesus comes around. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he, he doesn't really start doing stuff until he's like 30. Yeah. I think the first thing he does is it's, it's the wine bottles, right? That's kind of the first thing. That's the first thing. Drive there. Okay. And then we have the Gospels, which are the first four books. And then it is those four guys' the testimony of what Jesus Christ did. Right, so how, why do I need Jesus? Why do you need Jesus? Because yeah. we all live a life of sin. Okay. And he died on the cross for us, and he, he fulfilled all of the uh, Old Testament stuff. All right, so how are you going to show me my sin? Or how are you going to show that guy his sin? Or, or these people walking past? All of them. How are you going to show us our sin? I knew it wasn't lies. Wear a mask. Show him my sin. I show him not your sin specifically, but everybody's sin. See, because everybody's a sinner, and we can agree with that. I would definitely agree with that, but I, I don't know. I don't know how I would show these people. Um, they're all on their way to the football game, but I think this okay. is really dope. Well, um, I'm gonna take you someplace and show you real quick what you can do. Exodus chapter 20. Okay. These are just some of God's Ten Commandments. Well, all of that God's Ten Commandments actually. Ask them, hey, have you ever put any God before the one true living God? Have you ever um, made an idol? Have you oh, ever? Definitely. Have you ever? Um, Instagram. Ever taken God's name in vain? Instagram's an idol. Yeah, it is. And see, all these different commandments show two things, that God's really good and everybody else is really bad. And that's why Jesus had to come and die for sins. And uh, you need to repent and believe that gospel. All right? So, Dude, I respect that you're doing this out here like so well, much. Well, praise God. Yeah. Awesome. That's encouraging God, you here. Yeah. No, I, I'm so happy you're out here, man. I mean, Well, that's great. This well, takes a lot of courage. The only thing I can ask of you is just examine yourself, 2 Corinthians 13, 5. Make sure you're born again and bearing that fruit that Jesus, would, that John the Baptist would say, bearing fruit, proving that you've repented and placed your faith in Christ. What's I your am, name? Matt. Matt, pleasure to meet you. God bless you, okay? Yes, it's encouraging to hear, Matt. Hey, Matt could actually share the gospel with me. What an encouragement. I've asked 92 people that this year, and only 5 out of 92 people who said they were Christians could communicate that gospel with me.